A sheriff in Texas says a man confessed to killing his ex-wife just before Hurricane Harvey hit their Houston suburb. Now, Crystal McDowell disappeared on her way to pick up her own children and take them to safety before the storm. Stephen McDowell is charged with her murder. He went before a judge yesterday and is being held on a half million dollar bond. Our Omar Villafranca is in Baytown, Texas, where Crystal's car was found. Wearing shackles, Stephen McDowell seemed to hold back tears as he appeared in court for the first time. Everything in the investigation leads to us that he acted alone. Chambers County Sheriff Brian Hawthorne said McDowell admitted he strangled his ex-wife Crystal and led investigators to her body. It took uh, a number of different interviews before he, you know, confessed. One day before Hurricane Harvey hit southeast Texas on August 25th, Crystal McDowell texted her boyfriend, Paul Hargrave, saying she was on her way to pick up her two children. No traffic today, she wrote to him. You are so sweet. I knew something was wrong, um, and because of the conversations we had had um, about her ex-husband, I, uh, I was a bit concerned when I didn't get a reply back. McDowell was staying at her ex's house because her home was being renovated. The children, ages 5 and 8, were also staying there. She never went and picked up her kid. McDowell's car was found abandoned in this flooded Motel 6 parking lot three days after she vanished. So the cops were here busting in doors to find out where this lady is. Police finally located the 37-year-old's body in a wooded area Saturday. The hurricane hampered the search effort. McDowell's uncle, Jeff Walters, had reported her missing. Her parents died when she was young, and I guess I'm the closest one to her in the family. She's like my daughter. Omar Villafranca joins us now from Baytown, Texas. So, Omar, Hurricane Harvey must have had a huge impact on the search efforts to find Crystal. It absolutely did. Of course, when Harvey was moving through here, all the resources, uh, state and local, were focused on you know keeping people safe, getting them off the roads. We're here at the Motel 6 where her car was found. You can tell this area was pretty badly flooded here. I mean, several feet. Matter of fact, during Harvey, we actually tried to get here for an unrelated story, and we couldn't even get from Houston to Baytown, which is maybe only about 30 miles, because this major highway I-10 was shut down. So getting in and around the Houston metro area for anyone, including first responders, was very difficult. Um, and as a matter of fact, investigators did say it slowed down the process of trying to look for her or any evidence in this case. Omar, the question that I think a lot of people will have, do investigators think that this was purposely planned around the hurricane to help cover up the alleged murder? You would think that, but the sheriff here in Chambers County, where Baytown is located, said it did not. But you would think, you, since it would hinder any sort of search effort, it would. But as at this point right now, investigators are saying they do not believe that Harvey, you know, a major storm that's going to stress the the the, uh, the facilities here in Baytown, they're saying it had nothing to do with it as of now. But as we mentioned, the investigation is still ongoing. So then, where does the case go from here? He confessed to the murder, the ex-husband did. So at this point, we're waiting to find out what kind of deal, if any, he's going to try to make uh, with the prosecution and see what kind of sentencing is going to happen. Of course, the main question we also want to know is, how are the kids doing at this point? Uh, last check, they are with family members, um, and investigators tell us they do not believe that uh, they, they were in the house, but they do not believe that they witnessed her mother's death, uh, which if there's any silver lining in this, uh, that's a good thing. But right now, they're with family. We're just hoping the kids are going to be okay. Absolutely. Uh, it's a tragic story. Omar Villafranca reporting uh, from Texas for us. Thank you, Omar. Thank you.